Measuring matter. The amount of space that matter takes up is called its volume. It's important to measure how much space matter occupies. Liquids are measured in units such as liters, milliliters, gallons, quarts, and cups. Solids are usually measured in cubic centimeters. To find the volume of a solid object, like this block of wood, all you have to do is multiply the measurement of length, which is 5 centimeters, by height, 5 centimeters, by width, 5 centimeters, for a total of 125 centimeters. Another characteristic that is similar to all matter is that all matter has mass. What is mass? Mass is the amount of material or matter in an object. An elephant, for example, has more mass than a bee. And even though this baseball and this tennis ball are the same size, the baseball has more mass. The mass of any object can be measured. A unit used to measure mass is called a gram. One gram is a small amount of mass. For example, two paper clips have a mass of about one gram. A nickel has a mass of about five grams. A baseball has a mass of about 150 grams. In solid matter, the molecules are packed very tightly together, and they're held together by tight bonds. When matter is in a solid form, like this piece of wood, it has a very definite volume and definite shape. But even if you change the size and shape of a solid, like if you cut the piece of wood, it still remains a solid. When you mix solids together, like these marbles, they do not lose their shape or their size, and they can easily be separated from each other. Now, let's talk about measuring matter in a liquid state. Liquids have a definite volume that can be measured, but liquids have no shape of their own. Liquids take the shape of the containers they are in. If there is no container, a liquid will spread into a shallow puddle. The molecules of a liquid are packed together closely, but move around freely. This allows the molecules in a liquid to flow. Liquids are also called fluids. Fluid means a substance that flows. If you mix liquids together, say for example, like milk and chocolate syrup, unlike solids, they become very difficult to separate from each other. Gases, unlike solids and liquids, can change volume very easily. That's because gas molecules move in all directions at very high speeds. The volume and shape of a gas is the same volume and shape of its container. Take, for example, a balloon that is filled with air. Air is a gas. Now, gas molecules will spread out and fill all the space available, as witnessed when you let the air out of the balloon. Gases, like liquids, also mix easily together, and once mixed, are difficult to separate from each other. And even if we can't see the mixture of gases, we can certainly smell some of them. That's why you can smell a burning fire or hamburgers cooking on a grill. It's the mixture of gases in the air.